This is the story of an extraordinary jailbreak. How did six men dig their way out of maximum security in a region that can quickly ignite? And as the prisoners resurfaced, so did a powerful story of dispossession, violence, and bitter division. The Palestinians who tunneled from an Israeli jail. All this occupation, Israel, with all this military, in a minute it disappeared. Gilboa prison holds hundreds of Palestinians. Supposedly so secure, Israelis call it the safe. But for months, a group of inmates used iron rods and spoon tips to dig. They burrowed into open space under the prison. For Israel, the escape was shocking. The news broke on the Jewish New Year holiday. Directly below here is where they had tunneled underneath the prison walls to this point where they dug up through the earth a hole that allowed them to get out. And look where the hole is right next to the prison walls, directly below a guard's watchtower. Israel had jailed five of the six for carrying out or planning deadly attacks. Among them was Zakaria Zubaydi, for years one of Israel's most wanted. But this is a story about more than a dramatic jailbreak. As I covered the search for the six, I heard how it unraveled layers of the past and showed you more about a fractured region. <laughs> Zubaydi grew up in Janine refugee camp and the five other prisoners came from villages nearby. What did you think when you heard that the six men had escaped from prison? She has two sons in Israeli jails. In fact, most Palestinian families have had a member detained by Israel at some time. It's why sympathy for prisoners is such a powerful issue to Palestinians. Is Zakaria on TV? Hey, hey. Let's have a look. Here's Zakaria on TV. What do you think of uh, Zakaria? What, what did you think when you heard he'd uh, escaped? I mean, for people here, like these kids, the six are heroes. They were rooting for them ever since their escape. And the point is, this is a rare case of Palestinians on their own managing to overcome the might of Israel's security. But for Israelis, a totally different story. A massive search starts as Israel's forces try to make up for the breach. They fear attacks by the men or the militant groups they belong to. For one former Israeli prison guard, the damage was already done. He spent a lifetime guarding the so-called security wings. Some prisoners are held without trial, and rights groups condemn the military court system for Palestinians under occupation. Israel rejects this, saying it meets all standards and prevents attacks.
סביב כל אסיר כזה יש מעגלים רחבים יותר של משפחה, של חברים, של תמיכה, של ארגוני הטרור, חמאס, ג'יהאד האסלאמי. זה מאפשר להם כוח, זה מאפשר להם עוצמה. Then the first clues. The six are spotted leaving a mosque a few miles from Gilboa. In the heat and the rugged terrain, can they survive? Will anyone take them in? You were following footprints. You could see footprints in the soil. Israel scrambles every resource it can. Officer K is an Arab Israeli, in fact, by heritage, a Palestinian Bedouin hired for his skills on the land, and he won't show his face. Were you confident you'd find them? A million percent. We're talking about the land, we're talking about the land, and we know how to find the land. So why are the stakes so high? Five of the six belong to Islamic Jihad, and Zubaydi is a former leader of Al-Aqsa Martyrs Brigades. His story is notorious to Israelis, hailed by Palestinians. When you grow up in the camp where there is army invading each night, each day, destroying your houses, killing your neighbors, taking your family, and you're not controlling anything in your life, He grew up with Zubaydi. The boys were in a drama group in Janine camp, later known as the Freedom Theater. Guys grow up and you start to see this drama group has become an armed resistance leaders in the camp. As a teen, Tabassi was in Islamic Jihad and jailed, but later turned his back on militants. صاحب الخجول استشهد حملته بين يدي واخذته Israel later wanted Zubaydi for attacks including one which killed six Israelis By 2002 suicide bombings had been devastating Israel and its army invaded Jenin camp An Israeli sniper shot dead Zubaydi's mother Samira as she stood next to a window كريا عاش طفولته يعني زيه زي باقي اللاجئين وباقي شباب المخيم استشهاد أمي أثر علينا كثير مرة آمن بدارها بتفتح شباك دارها كان ناس بقتلها ليش؟ He was jailed over an attack on an army jeep. More than 50 Palestinians and 23 Israeli soldiers were killed in the fighting in Jenin. Events that shape the collective memory here. It's a short journey, but a world apart. To several Israeli settlements. Gadalnu letoch metziut psichi. Balai la ratzim imazakot baishuv mechabel betoch aishuv mistovei mneshek. Aba shli olei lemala ima uzi shelo. First trauma, okay. Tikva beitamar hitchalfa lifnot boker bimtziut mara vechovet. Gufato shel Eliyahu Asheri she nechtaf venirzach nimtze ali adramala. That was 2006 when 18-year-old Eliyahu was snatched and killed by Palestinians as he hitchhiked from an Israeli settlement. Israel jailed Iham Kamamji for his part in the murder. He's one of the six who escaped from Gilboa. As the search grows, so do the tensions. There are clashes on the streets, unrest in prisons, and Islamic Jihad threatens massive firepower if Janine camp is entered, or the prisoners harmed. Is 
Israeli soldiers raid villages around Janin. The troops arrest relatives of two of the prisoners. It all reminds her of her own son's arrest years ago. After a week on the run, Zubaydi and three others are caught. They're exhausted, reportedly having to find food, digging through trash. After 10 more days, the Israelis find the last two, including Iham Kamamji, hiding in a house, tracked down via phones after they tried to call relatives. A court hearing begins, charging the men with escape. And Israel's government set up a committee of inquiry into the jailbreak. Israel want to win the war psychologically, to tell the Palestinian we, we won as an Israeli and you lost. All Palestinians in prison. The difference is just the space that you move in. When this gonna change? Zubaydi and the others are back in prison. It lifts the pressure for Israel's security forces. Hearing of the recapture, Palestinians sense a kind of return to the norm. A place where the generations change, but their story stays the same.